Yo, what's up? Hey, we are here in the cafe, and what? it is time for us yes. to have a great session as we cap off this fast trackers That's series. Right. Mm. We got a fast tracker that is man. man I don't. I, just watch this and just get yourself excited. Get ready for this we, right we now. We really got to. We'll be talking about. Yep. Hey, everybody! We got Greg McCoy and Beto. That's right. If you don't know, Beto now you somebody. know. about everybody did you know that you are inside of the cafe with the fast tracker that is going to take the baton to the finish line folks we are here with Beto the solutionary himself the fast tracker oh this this is one incredible man that I just can't I don't I don't know if I have enough space inside of this recording time to tell you how inspired I get when, when I have somebody in front of me like Beto that can do incredible things, tools that I've used inside of my dealership with my guys that I have seen flourish into great fruit. Ooh, and I am honored today. to see I these like things it. occur uh, on a daily. And he is still growing. He is still budding, folks. He is a bean you need to be brewing with. And he's on car. Guy, coffee, podcast. This is Lou Ramirez, the car guy. This is Frelin Arts, the subprime hero. And you are brewing man. solutions. We are brewing tons of solutions, man. I'm super excited. This series has been a great series. This is volume five right here, right? Woo. Cinco. Ooh. Now, Beto, Beto was out hanging out with us on a Cinco de Mayo. Oh, Cinco I remember that Cinco de Mayo. Completely different um, for everybody. That was a good uh, one. But I am so excited. Uh, I think that's when I first met Beto, actually. Was man. it? Yeah, that was the first. I think that was my very first trip ever out on that. And I got to, we all went out. We went to the, uh, what was that restaurant called? Rocco's Tacos. Tacos. Yes, sir. That was a good time that night. But anyway, um, yes. That's right. <laughs> that's where I met that's you. I remember because you came in a little bit later. Yeah. Oh, dude, it was amazing. The, the scenery, the gray. I mean, outside, they had that little, it was nice, man. Good spot, great music, was, good drinks. It was a good time. Lots of dancing. It was right it was by the cigar time. shop. Yes, right? I know that's awesome. where uh, Greg likes to frequent. <laughs> Folks, that's for those true. of you that do not know who is in the cafe with us, no, it's not Father Time. No, it's not Chris Kringle getting ready to announce the in the uh, Christmas in July sale that you have going on. But he might help you out if you want him to. He's not shy. He'll show you a thing or two. But this is Greg McCoy who was somebody that I got to meet Beto with. And all of it seared together into what's just some great solutionary brew that is the, the, the group of people that we are right here. Love you, Greg. Love you, Beto. So blessed to be able to have you. Just we in appreciate the right you guys now. giving us Whether time. Whether we're recording Car Guy Coffee or not, I'm so excited to just be hanging out with you guys. We're brewing some solutions. It's been a while. Yeah, we're glad to be here. Absolutely. Well... So, we are in the five liner section of our show, and the five liner is really simple, guys. It's five questions, just like any type of uh, app that you have to get somebody. Even if they're doing cash, you have to get at least get five liner on them, get to know who they are, where they live, the whole type of stuff, right? So these five questions are going to open you guys up a little bit. We're going to start with my favorite question. Oh, you know, you're going to start with your favorite question. 
I'm sorry. Oops. He's going with number can, uno. No, he can take number one because I have to do what we have to do always first things oh, first. Okay, folks, I'm with you. And that's make sure oh, that we apply three Fs to get ourselves ready to fly where it is that we are designed to fly. There is an Arizona Cardinal in the cafe, and I am so pumped up. So pumped up. We also so got we did. also have what the Focus Super Bowl champions. Wise. We do the champs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chief. I Mr. Mean, Chief, Chief right in here. The room. Well, Kansas man, City. Get what a year they had, man. Wow. Oh, Great. goodness. Ah, oh, but in, in, I'm sure that this entire team has learned how to apply this method some way or shape or form in their life. And that's the forgive focus fly. So together, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the weight of unforgiveness, focus on where it is we want to go, and together we're gonna fly. So join me. Beto, join me, Greg. Let's go ahead and forgive Focus Fly to go. Here we go. On three. Everybody, you know what to do. One, two, three. Forgive. forgive. Focus. Focus. Fly. Fly. <laughs> hey, folks, let me tell you something that's happening technologically right now. We are hanging out and having a great time in the cafe uh, and we are in different places. All of the, of three the United different United places States. right now. I mean, it's it's fantastic and it's great. Thank you uh, for those of you that hope the technology be what it is. Um, we are glad to be here with our brothers. So Man. let's get rocking on this five line of Freddie. Go ahead and take it away. We Man. are flying, folks. I always start with the same question with everybody because I think that you always need to start with this, even in your own life. It's the why. So when you're doing something every single day when you wake up you know we all need some kind of motivation we need something to make us go you know what i'm going to take that one extra step you know what i'm going to take that extra up you know what i'm going to submit that extra deal i'm going to call that one extra bank right we all have that motivation inside of us what is it for you what is the why what is your purpose beto what would you say can you repeat that please just the last part what is your why? What's your purpose? Your why? What makes a fast tracker like you? What makes you want to keep going? What makes you like you keep this? pushing every single day when you wake up instead of hitting that snooze button? What makes you get out of bed and say, it's time to go grind this baby out? You know what, man? For me, it's been ever since I working started working for this company that I work for now. You know, I started, you know, I actually just hit my six years um, just uh, last month, actually. And and ever since I've been with this company, you know, the way that, you know, what our message is of just trying to help people, you know, find that that solution to their needs, you know, and and putting them on that right vehicle, you know, finding out what their story is. Th those are the things that um, has made me push myself every single day um, from from when I was selling cars to, you know, taking that last up during the day, you know, at the end of the day on the, that weekend. Um, just to know that I was able to help somebody out. So my wife, you know, making sure that I do everything that I can every single day to make sure that that customer, um, their, 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 their problems has been solved. You know, and that's, that's, that's what drives me every single day. Um, mm -hmm. That's why we put in the hours that we put in just because, you know, we want to find out the story uh, of, of the particular customer. So um, that is my why. That's why. I love my job. That's why I love coming to work every day. Um, and, and just to see people grow, you know, um, I myself have been growing from, you know, mm -hmm. meeting you guys, you know, and other people in the company that, that, um, that I'm for, I'll forever be grateful for everybody that has helped me out. So my why is, um, just helping the next customer out, man. You know, what's so crazy about sure. that Beto is that I know that some people might think, well, why would he be really into helping his customer? And I know it's true about you. And I know that's exactly how you feel because even your closes techniques, your techniques you use for closing are all about for the people and how to make them feel comfortable and what, and using truth behind it, but using the right words, the right tracks to make people feel comfortable with you, with the situation, with the cosine situation, with the money down situation. It always comes from your heart when you come up with those closes. It's not some you know, crapshoot line that you heard from somebody else. Yeah. I mean, you've maybe used that idea, but you turned it into your own verbiage. And man, it's very unique and it's it's pretty outstanding for a guy like you to do what you've done so fast and uh, and maintain that type of feeling for customers still through this time. And understand that your job would not be there unless you had customers. 
That is the number one thing. We are servants for customers and we're there to help them purchase a car, help them get to the next level in car in the car buying situation, right? And you do a great job, man. And that's it's fact. I love that you said that because I think it's 100% true about you. So, you know, Greg, I'd like to ask you the same question, man. You know, what is your purpose every single day when you get up and you're like, you know what? I'm ready to grind it out. I need to make this happen. Absolutely. So mine probably has for years uh, a little different. Uh, mine has always uh over the 30 years I've been in the business to, to get up and see an impact in people that worked for me's life and their families to see them grow. I remember when Beto was a salesperson, I, I went out to that store several times uh, and when he was in Arizona and I watched him grow. And, and for me, that's the exciting part to see uh, young men and women that have changed their lives, their families' lives. They understand how to do it the right way in this, in this business a great business that you can do honestly uh you don't have to be you know corrupt in how we do business and how they take care of the customers because here's what i know if we take care of our employees they'll take care of our customers so i've always been a believer in, in letting people grow and watching watching you guys grow and living their dreams so for me that's always been my main motivation still to this day is i i, I work with dealers all around the country and it's because I really do like, and really, I don't work with dealers. I really work with the key managers in those stores because I really like to see these managers really grow into their full potential. So, wow, there we go. The first time I met you, you were, uh, you were, you were, you were there for the, the car buying coach, right? So, what it was a great experience. I sat down. Well, actually, I met you at the bar, but we'll talk about in a, in a car sales atmosphere. But <laughs> but um, we sat down, you know, you're up there and you're talking your story. You're telling me where you where you came from and, and, you know, what you did and why you are where you're at now. And yes, that's what you do, man. And you're very good at what you do. You're um, very passionate about numbers and understanding that it is a numbers game in this business, that you have to make sure that people are accountable. And that yeah. is so key. And you definitely bring that out. And that's such a core thing inside you. And I could tell. And in your integrity alone, man, that I've seen has been nothing but stellar. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, you're, you've got a great name and I do appreciate you being on the show today, man. And I'm here supporting Beto and getting that taken care of, man, because Beto is, as, as you know, and you would agree, Beto is one hell of a fast tracker. And I, yes. I'm, I'm impressed oh, by yeah. this guy. And yeah. I have and I consider him a great friend. And I know that anytime I want to go across country, I, he would take me out and have dinner with me. Yeah. You know, and that's that kind of guy, just like you, Greg. You know, we yeah. would go out and have dinner anytime. Absolutely. And, you know, it was great, great. He does. So one, Beto, Beto does do a great job. I'm, I'm a, I'll just say this about Beto. I, I knew I knew him six years ago when he got in this business, and he was selling cars. And uh, uh, he he shared his uh, passions with me years ago. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, one of the finest men and car people I've ever met is this guy right here. And I'm just telling you, you're uh, it's an honor to be sitting here in the same room with him because he is a fast tracker. He he flat hustled right through and. He, I'm telling you, he does a hell of a job. I've been to his store, the store he runs in El Paso. And I'm going to tell you, I've been there a couple times, and he does a hell of a job. His people really, really respect him. And he's passionate about his employees and customers. Everything he's listening, anybody listening today, listen to this guy. Because I'm going to tell you, he can tell you a lot, a lot of stuff. He has a, lots of wisdom and knowledge in this industry. And and as a character, his character is unblemished. So that's, that's exactly why we appreciate want it, Derek. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's it. That, hit, hit the chest one time for me, oh. everybody. Come on, because we are getting deep, right? We are just getting started on that's the why. The I didn't question. even say yeah. what it is that I'm so inspired about with him yet, and we have plenty of time to get to that, everybody. <laughs>